It's almost been 10 years since Titanfall 1 first released. It's a little bit hard to believe how fast that time has gone. I remember renting it from Redbox of all places and getting my hands on the game for the first time. Now, this was on the Xbox 360, so the graphics weren't exactly perfect. I remember it being a mind-blowing concept though, being able to run on the walls, have a big mech you can fight with, and clearly it stuck with me because here I am still talking about the game. And while only recently Respawn has finally fixed Titanfall 2 servers, I find myself reminiscing thinking about Titanfall 1 again. But there's a problem with Titanfall 1, there was no single player campaign, nothing like that, it was all online. And unfortunately no one is playing the game. But I knew that going into this, and really I just wanted to check out some of the old maps that didn't get it brought over to Titanfall 2. Now there are private matches you can set up just like in Titanfall 2, however if you're just by yourself you actually can't start the match, you need another player to connect to your lobby. This wouldn't be so big of an issue if Titanfall 1 was still listed on the Steam store, because currently it is not. So unless your friends had already bought the game, you're kind of out of luck. But the 1% of you who are actually trying to play Titanfall 1 right now, I have a solution for you. I've researched thoroughly, and I'm going to show that to you right now. Alright, we have Titanfall 1 booted up. This is a fresh install of the game, nothing, no crazy mods added. Just to give you some context, essentially I wanted to go back and record footage of a lot of these older maps that never made it into Titanfall 2. One of those being Swampland, a, a jungle map. Too bad it's not in Titanfall 2, but it is what it is. So the only way to actually run these maps, if you're on your own, you can't play online, obviously. There's no players worldwide, so, you know, that's, we're a bit uh, too late for that one. So the only option, you know, would be private match, just like in Titanfall 2, right? We're going to go ahead and head into there. And here we are in Titanfall 1's private match. Now it's very similar to Titanfall 2. Same concept, you can choose the map game mode settings. You know, blah blah blah, the usual stuff, right? But there's a problem with private match in this game. So, you know, let's say I wanted to play the map, uh, let's see here, Swampland. You know, perfect map. I got Pilot Hunter, the game mode I want. In Titanfall 2, I'd just be able to queue it up and I'm ready to go, right? I can go play it by myself and run around the map and, you know, reminisce, right? But in Titanfall 1, you're not able to play a private match unless you have another player with you. You can see that on the top right of the screen here, waiting for players one out of two, and you can see this big old lock icon with the grayed out start match text. I can click it, it does nothing, nothing I can do. So after coming to this realization that I wouldn't be able to play any of the maps I wanted to play, I spent a little bit of time digging and I found this Reddit post. After digging around for a little bit, I happened to find this Reddit post talking about how to get Titanfall 1 uh, through various ways on PC in 2023. Wasn't really concerned about that because I already had the game, but I came down here and I noticed this Black Market Edition multi-purpose mod, and I was curious as to what that was. That might have solved my issue, and sure enough, it did. After clicking the mysterious link, I was taken to this page where it describes what the actual mod is. It is a community enhancement mod with various quality of life changes and improvements and again I wasn't really concerned about that I was just concerned with will this allow me to play private matches and sure enough after reading through big blocks of text it does on this page there are screenshots provided for what some of the stuff in the mod looks like it has pretty good discord integration if you care about that the ability to change your field of view, ability to open up the command prompt in game, customize loadouts while in game, and more subtle things like the return to battlefield text being removed. Black Market Edition has a variety of different features, uh, but the main feature I was concerned with was this right here. Start private matches alone by yourself. Now to actually download the Black Market Edition, what you're gonna need to do is head up to the top of the page where it says code, click that, then download zip. You're gonna wanna open that file up. Then you're gonna to want to extract all. Make sure you install the mod on the same storage device as wherever your Titanfall is installed. So for instance, I have it on New Volume E. Titanfall 1 is on New Volume E, and so the mod's gonna go on there too. Now, Black Market Edition is pretty easy to install. It kind of takes care of itself. If you read right here, it says it uh, automatically detects game installation folder. So just have it on the same storage device and you should be good to go. And it'll unpuck the files and do everything properly. So what we downloaded up here was kind of like the bulk of the mod right here when we hit code and downloaded that. But we need to actually download the installer because in the files here, there is not a way to install it. And uh, that took a little bit of troubleshooting to figure out. All right, so this is kind of odd, right? It's all just crossed out. And uh, what does that mean? We go to release page, the installer is not here. What do we do? So this mod has been made open source. The original creator for it uh, just kind of postponed work and he just released it to the public, right? It's a little bit tricky to find the actual installer because it's not on there anymore. To download the installer, again, we're just gonna head to releases. 
nothing's here, no problem. We're gonna head over to issues. We're gonna click this little post. We're gonna click number one here. This is the actual installer. All right, and then we're gonna click this magical little link here and it's going to download the, it's called BME Black Market Edition little installer, right? Boom, bada, bing. Click on that. Make sure it is again on this same storage device. You have Titanfall 1 and the other file we downloaded. You can still see it here. So just go ahead and hit install. Now that the installer has been downloaded, you're gonna wanna head and let it run. Make sure it is again that same storage device, that Titanfall 1 and the pre-existing Black Market Edition file we downloaded is uh, saved to. So in my case again, it's E. Click install. And just like that, it went ahead and installed the open Titanfall as you normally do and enjoy. All right, so now we are gonna get into Titanfall and see if it worked. All right, and we can see that the mod has been installed, Black Market Edition. Now let's go ahead and see for our intents and purposes and see if we can boot up a match by ourselves. And just like that, now we are able to host private matches so you can run around these maps forever. Just a disclaimer, I don't know if you're actually able to still play online with people. I would assume so, but considering the servers are dead anyway, there's not really a way I can test that. Obviously this was done on PC, you gotta have mods, so rip console people. But that's the end of the tutorial. If for whatever reason you have questions about something or something's not working, feel free to leave a comment below. I can try to help you out. I tried to make this as straightforward as possible. That way it was easy. One other random thing I wanted to mention is that I'm pretty sure if the servers for Titanfall 1 ever actually get shut down, like permanently, I don't think that you're going to be able to play private matches. Because this is not running off your computer, it's running off the server. So, I could be wrong, but that's from my understanding. So, But, thank you for watching and bye-bye. Uh,